Okay, so I make all of my own notebooks usually. Uh, I like them because you can make unlined paper in whatever size and thickness you want. Uh, but my handwriting is very squiggly without lines and I thought it would be nice to make a tool to put lines on paper. <laughs> so let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> right. And we're, it's going to be easy, right? Super easy. Super easy. And you've been thinking about this for a while, right? Yeah. Yeah, some months now. <laughs> Give them a little wiggle room. Seven, okay. So I'm gonna make the top holes big enough to slide the pencil through and the bottom holes like, you know, I don't know. All right, I mean, that's the whole ruling menorah right there. It might need some like gusset plates, I guess. Seven minutes. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at this. The ruling menorah. Let's see. I have a pencil. One one whole pack of ten cent pencils per. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfect, right? All right, custom made for these pencils. I don't think this is going to be a product. However, um, I enjoy it. <laughs> um, so we are putting together a uh, ruling menorah so that we can use pencils to rule them all. <laughs> we can use pencils to rule... Okay, this is going to work, I think. Okay, I think this is a pretty good thing we just made. What does that take us 20 minutes? <laughs> Maybe half an hour by the time we cut the parts out. There we go. That is the Greg ruling menorah. <laughs> yeah. Super glue time. Well, the wrong way to do woodworking. But a fun way nonetheless. This is where we take you to the emergency room because you have a menorah glued to your hands. No, no, we have acetone here. <laughs> that's, that's for amateur hour. You know, uh, when I was a kid, twice while we were building airplanes, uh, my stepmom came home to find my dad with both hands glued to a control rod. <laughs> she had to get out the acetone and uh, oh, fix them up. So I guess the, the purpose of this is to put... Uh, pencil lines on notebook paper on which to write on to improve my terrible handwriting. <laughs> Not that we couldn't buy lined paper anywhere. <laughs> you know, uh, that would be too easy. Too easy. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna kind of work, but maybe not so great. <laughs> All right. We'll find out. Oh, I need a pencil sharpener now. Okay, one, ha ha ha. <laughs> 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 Will it do two more? the final pencil of this bag. Yeah. I wonder if when I put all of the pencils in, they'll act as a wedge and uh, snap this damn thing in half. <laughs> okay. It's possible. This really reminds me of the chalkboard thing from music class when I was a kid. Yep. I think they also had a version of this for making... Um, by graph paper in math class. I don't remember that as clearly. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm getting pleased with this. It looks like such a silly object already. 
We're going to need to open another pack of pencils, too. <laughs> I'm thinking that this uh, sliding end stop is not big enough to really mm, yeah. get a good thing, but okay, let's give it a try. Okay, so I think I really have to press this guy down. I don't know. It seems very awkward to use here, but okay. Horrible. Let's try that again. <laughs> Not all the pencils seem to be I mean, at the same height. Let's try and push them all down. <laughs> that is the worst job I have ever seen. Yeah, some of these just got pushed up, pushed down. Uh -huh. They're not, they need to sort of slide under their own weight, right? Like yeah. these holes maybe at the top need to be drilled out a little bit more. Uh. Just a quick update to that one piece. Okay, version two with bigger holes. Version two. I'm glad we uh, went with crazy glue. It seems much more time efficient. Now the pencils should be able to float up and down easily and hopefully self-level. <laughs> Eight hours later. Now we need to build a machine to load the pencils in and sharpen them. Oops. A teenager. <laughs> You've got to hire some help here. Maybe I'll erase the first, the first try a little bit. I think they look auto leveling to me, and they feel nice and wobbly, like go back and forth. So, um, actually, Joe, would you hold that end of the paper? This is a two-man tool. Uh, and just hold the end of that paper down, and then we go towards you. Not the greatest. Yeah, you're right, the weight of the pencils is not enough. Huh. Doesn't really leave a mark. Yeah, it has some... It has potential, right, potential. but it sucks. Yeah, besides the fact that it sucks, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I just covered the paper in blurry graphite lines. That was not it, but what if it moved like this? <laughs> so the trick is using it in a way we didn't intend on using it. <laughs> It's good for drawing hair textures or waves. Oh, yeah, waves. Ethan's ocean drawing machine. But this might lead to a solution. Right? Yeah, I think I think we're on to something. You're on to something. Yeah, it's starting to get the problem where the tips are not all perfectly aligned. And, well. <laughs> yeah, there's that problem too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Um, a long time ago I made the world's worst pencil case. Um, this is a piece of it that broke from a prototype anyway. I gave up on this a long time ago. But it has these slots for the pencils. And then um, I bought this bag of dried out pens when I was building the Bronco Pan because it was the cheapest set of little uh, brass springs I could get. Um, and so, you know, I've got like a couple hundred of these springs that I bought for five bucks. And we drop one in there and we have this guy. And now we have these spring-loaded sort of auto-leveling, uh, under-pressure, uh, line-making tools. <laughs> they all kind of make like a similar line. Yeah. Now, do we print the world's largest block of uh, 3D printed <laughs> garbage to do this? Or do we come up with a similar mechanism where 
you know, clearly like the spring tension, we talked about, you know, using a, a pencil with a rubber band to tension them this way, but individual spring tension on each pencil might be uh, sort of key to getting a yeah. uniform impression. Right, right. All right, so um, this is also like probably a perfect uh, elementary school thing because you could push one down and fire a pencil and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know i do have uh like every iso standard spring in a box here we could we could make some good pencil launching canisters <laughs> be like a can of worms but 30 pencils just shoot out so how did you get to the point where you decided you needed to make a line ruling machine I kind of like got to the point where today was reserved that we could hang out and I wouldn't do what I was doing at work and I really don't want to start another project and this was kind of a silly idea I had. I like I like uh, these blank notebooks that, um, you know, for drawing, but I write in them a lot. My handwriting gets squiggly and I was thinking, oh, what if I had you know, pencil lines? And the simplest way, obviously, is just to laser cut something with a template for the lines, but... Um, it's more humorous to us, I guess, to build uh, weird ruling things. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So this is the new brainstorm, right? The new yeah. breakthrough. And by the way, this is how most of our projects go, is we start off with a bad idea and then we modify it and we get this breakthrough idea that makes it possible. So this is a one, basically one piece of wood, right? Yeah, yeah it's like a comb almost. And so this would be what? Uh, what are these? What are we calling this ruling pen? Ru uh, Castellated, uh, whatever. Ruling comb. Ruling comb. <laughs> Pencil men menorah. One point oh one one. Okay, it's just one piece. Okay, I think we got something here. <laughs> Okay, okay. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> that's not the way to load it for sure. <laughs> okay. Take two. <laughs> this is a really bad product. <laughs> So bad. Oh, that is uh, still not good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sheet. Good one. So absolutely, <laughs> we're we're really getting somewhere now. I'm gonna make sure that these pencils are, you know, relatively the initial alignment, vertical alignment. Yeah. There'll be a calibration procedure in the <laughs> owner's video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be millionaires. I think that is probably like ready to draw some sick lines <laughs> wrong way <laughs> okay like this and you want to go on the edge of the table yeah that's fine oh we're getting somewhere we'll yes. see if i can use this on the edge of the table <laughs> pretty nice Actually, not too bad. I thought the lesson was stay in school and don't play around. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole day at work is uh, building things out of pencils. You know, this kind of makes me think that it would be fun to make some multi-directional uh, pencil connectors for building structures and things out oh, of yeah. pencils. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that instead. Or spirographs. Oh, I yeah. like the spirograph Next we idea. do the spirographs. Yeah. I'm gonna okay. make some involute gears. <laughs> That's not useful. <laughs> okay, this is the newest idea from the laboratories of camera dactyl cameras. What are you calling this product? I mean, this is the oldest idea and yeah. the least fun. Like it works, I think, but 
Um, it's not an engineering challenge. No, it's not nearly as funny to use. But so this is from uh, laser cut acrylic. Yeah. And this is narrow or college ruled, and you can do them in different rulings. Mm -hmm. And he will make me a uh, Greg ruled one. Yeah. So that is a much more reasonable ruling, but you know I don't know how yeah, much that's... it's going to actually improve my handwriting. Let's give it a shot. Uh, this is a Greg Rule template uh, of the clever Joe Van Cleve style with every other line cut out, but then you trace the top and bottom. So, yeah. let's see how this works. So far, so good. Kind of requires a long, uh, long lead pipe yeah. in your mechanical pencil here. But you made it out of thicker acrylic so it should be a little more durable. Yeah. Okay. Not a great job. Oh, I ran out of lead in the bottom there. Oh, okay. Does it match your Greg rule? Put your grill right on top of this. Oh, and yeah, see it's a... and it should line up pretty close. Yeah. Should stay lined up. It's a frame. It's a picture frame it's for typed writing. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> it's right. So, I mean, we made totally working, but completely boring yeah. stencils. Who right. cares, right? Right. right. But like a, a, you know, popsicle stick pencil menorah with 30 <laughs> pencils sticking out of the machine is just like, it's too good to but be left alone. But you gotta have 30 rubber bands right. to go with it, right? <laughs> and That's, well, yeah. so, you know, this is, you just, uh, yeah temporarily as, yeah. a, as a quick test rigged this thing up you know and obviously the bands are on the sliding surface and they're all individually rubber banded so they have their own tension but of course Let's we're see. gonna the idea is we're gonna make a bracket that goes over the the eraser to hold the rubber band like over. like 30 3d printed brackets for my pencil menorah yeah it's gonna take me eight hours to print <laughs> but but this is where we're at now yeah, no, because it can't be yeah, left alone it can't be left alone that's right so show the people how this okay. works here show okay. the people Oh yeah, it works pretty good. So this is—I forgot it to have the, you know, this guide the obviously guide needs to be bigger. Yeah, yeah. But um, you know, okay. If I push these guys down and just slide the guide, it yeah. rules the paper pretty nicely. So I think with a bigger guide, and particularly this thing, it could have like some sort of sliding clamp guide on this right. end, right? That grabs the paper and you just go. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a really, actually, pretty reasonable yeah. way to do it. I think what we're going to do is add um, sort of serrations here, yeah. much like we did uh, over here, so right. that these rubber bands can just hook on yeah. and not interfere with the sliding path. And then um, 3D printed caps so that they yeah they stay on the pencils. Stay on yeah. is going to be annoying. And it self tensions well, the, yeah. the the pencils. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's nerve wracking now. <laughs> yes. In the studio of Camera Dactyl Cameras, we got what is this Rev Four, Rev Three, kind of Rev Four. Yeah, whether you count the ones that actually worked or not, but were too boring to use. So each pencil is independently sprung, uh, sprung suspension, mm -hmm. I guess you'd say. Tw Twenty-eight independent pencil suspension. Yes. It is looking crazier and crazier, which pleases me. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the moment where it like might explode, right? Right. You know, push down, like you got to push down pretty hard to get. There's a lot of rubber band force there. All of these pencils to go. <laughs> wow, that's pretty dang good. Yeah, these rubber bands are too uh, too strong. Yeah. Too strong for the purpose, but okay. Very nice. I think that is a well-ruled piece of paper. <laughs> There's one guy. Oh yeah, the one guy where the this fell off didn't uh, didn't track. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. 
get that one back in here. Okay, let's uh, let's add a few more pencils, shall we? <laughs> I think we have to sharpen some for some reason. We're out of sharpened pencils. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting the guide good along the edge, but anyways, it makes the lines. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So before today, if I wanted lined paper, I had to buy it. And now I probably still have to buy it, unfortunately. But we can make crudely lined paper and maybe with future improvements on this project, they'll be even better. But we can make lined paper with pencil, which is one of the important features that Ethan likes, right? Because you can then handwrite in fountain pen or ink and then you can erase the guidelines afterwards right because they're pencil instead of ink and you can get custom line spacings right the, and the specific to what we're doing the line spacing is the width of a pencil right kind of based on yeah 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 you know, it really it's really a custom spacing it's, yes it's pencil width it's pencil width <laughs> so this was an experiment in having fun creative play with the tools that Ethan normally uses for his work, but instead we over-engineered a way of drawing parallel lines on paper. Now can I erase them in my drawing? <laughs> and it looks like maybe he can. I mean, the whole reason is because everything comes lined, <laughs> and I don't like that always for drawings, and so I made all of these notebooks with no lines in them. And then I wanted lines because my handwriting is so <laughs> bad. You know. uh, yeah, I think that works, right? You yeah. can just erase where the yeah, exactly where the tray table tray is. Good.